Here we are to talk about a hot topic, weight loss injections, weight loss injections. <laughs> so I don't know about you coach, but what I'm experiencing that when somebody finds out that I do weight loss and I help people lose weight, the first thing they ask is, do you do the injections? Or they say, what do you think about the injections? And they want to pick my brain on, on these injections that it's you know, it's a trend now. And so we want to share in this video the true life stories that we encounter on a daily basis. There's a difference between hearing commentary and on the news, you know, and, and different things. There's a difference between that than hearing from us that we see it, live it every single day we're here you know in the grind of helping people lose fat mass on a daily basis and we are experiencing you know new clients are failures of these injections for different reasons but not only that hearing their stories on why they failed or what are the clinical um clinical diagnosis that they've encountered now after the injections so it's important for us to have a conversation and share with the world what's truly happening in the trenches here in our society. So let's just jump right into it. Let's go for it. Coach, share the stories. So um, recently I had a client come in and they're on Ozempic and they told me something that really shocked me. And I was like, just like left speechless because she said that she wasn't given Ozempic through a medical doctor. She actually went to a spa and they're just giving them out. So she did not have to give any medical history, did not have to do any paperwork. It was kind of just like, if you have the money, then you just pay and you get it. And that Which shocks me crazy. Yeah, it's shocks crazy because there's med spas that have clinical directors or medical directors and they have like, let's say nurse practitioners or doctors mm -hmm. in the med spa that they see the client and they'll prescribe it. But in this scenario that you're talking about, it wasn't that. They didn't even look at the oh. health history. They didn't even, uh, nothing. They She just had an interest and they just prescribed it to her, no questions asked. Right, right. And the the weight loss is, you know, it's for, for a lot of our clients that they are doing these injections, they're not also told that they have to follow a healthy regimen either. It's right. kind of like a miracle thing where you can take it and then it's like, you know, you're losing 50 pounds like that. But a lot of people aren't eating healthy still. And, mm -hmm. you know, their, their weight loss is very slow. For example, in three months, one of the clients that's on Ozempic lost 13 pounds. And, you know, when you do it naturally, you can lose it a little bit quicker than that. Three weeks. A lot quicker than that. <laughs> three weeks. <laughs> three, yeah, three, three weeks, three, weeks, three months. Yeah. Hmm, what's the rest option? Yeah, oh. for us, we can do Bono is joining us. <laughs> Hi, Bono. <laughs> so the, the issue with that, it's not only that they're not eating healthy, they're not incorporating a healthy lifestyle, right. but they're also not eating enough. And so studies have shown that um, muscle atrophy is happening where people are losing muscle mass left and right. And so, you know, you can lose 15 pounds in three months, but 15 pounds of what? Right. Is it muscle? Is it fat? Is it water? What is it? Mm -hmm. And um, the issue with these injections, it's, it's primarily muscle, which is extremely bad for clients um, in, of any age, but definitely for clients that are in their 50s, 60s, 70s, where their their bodies already naturally lose muscle. And now you're throwing this on top of that. And, and guess what, guys? In order to build muscle mass at that age, it takes a lot. It is not easy. It's easy to liquefy muscle on a day, daily basis and to burn it. But it's, man, it is not easy to build muscle mass. And the issue is that when you're losing all this muscle mass, you know, later on in life, just to get off of a chair, just to like stand up, just your, 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 your basic life, you know, things that you need to do, like walking and standing and sitting and 
that requires muscle. So if you're losing muscle and then it's hard to gain back muscle, guess what's going to happen later on in life? And so that is that is a big concern. Let me share another story um, with one of our clients where we had a new client that came in, 72 year old, the, the most cutest man. <laughs> I wanted to adopt him and put him in my pocket, but super, super great, nice guy. He, he wanted to lose 30 pounds. So he went on to Manjaro and he lost 30 pounds in seven months. Now, 30 pounds in seven months is a long time. For us, it's between eight and 10 weeks. You know, so again, it's not quick weight loss, right? So the issue that he had was that before going into the injections, he already suffered from constipation. He also was on remission from pancreatic cancer. Now, why would anybody prescribe these injections to somebody that has health history of constipation and pancreatic cancer when those are the indications, like if you take an injection that slows down your digestive system, well, what do you think is gonna happen with the constipation? You know? Yeah. Um, so he was on the, on the injection for seven months, lost 30 pounds. His doctor had to get him off the injection because of course now he has chronic constipation. So now he has to take a prescription drug to go to the bathroom that he didn't have to do that before. Then after 72 years, he's diagnosed with hypothyroidism that he's never had before. And then they found lesions in his pancreas. So he was on remission from pancreatic cancer. Now they found lesions. As soon as they took him off the injection, he gained it all back. Why? Because people get hangry. As soon as that appetite suppressing is done, over, that the habit is still there. So you're still going to go back to eating the same junk. You're super hungry, like hangry to the 10th level. You start eating, eating, eating. And so you gain it back really quick. So he came to us and say, Hey, I got off the injections. I gained back all 30 pounds plus plus, And I want to um, lose it again. And, and when I spoke to him, I'm like, listen, I, I will be more than honored to help you through this. And I know I can a lot faster mm -hmm. in a natural way, but the most important for you right now is to make sure that your pancreas is fine. Go check your those lesions in your pancreas and then come back and see me. It was crazy. I felt so bad for him. And I see, I feel bad for people, for the constant stories that we hear in our office. I mean, you have also a, a story within your family, right, Coach? Right, and it's it's just, I keep seeing this one and it's been twice, back to back. And it's shocking because um, back to the, the other um, client that I was telling you about, um, she came in and she was telling me that she just developed out of the blue kidney issues like that never had any problems with kidneys and she's having to do a lot of work getting that taken care of because she's young and and it's also not only the older people but young people are doing it as well and it's just making them develop more issues that they have never dealt with before so personally in my family um, I have a family member that is an elderly lady <laughs> and she is taking Ozempic and she developed kidney issues like that. She also was losing a lot of weight, you know, throughout the process, but she wasn't eating at all. Anything that she put in her, it would come right back up. So she's losing weight because she's not nourishing her body. And then over time, she started failing and it's just scary. It's super, super scary. It is scary. And I, the other day I had, here's another one I had a business meeting with um, somebody and she was, she's not a client. It was just somebody that I was kind of interviewing as a vendor. And she was telling me how she's on the injections and she, she's in pain all day long. And I'm thinking to myself, she's in her twenties. She's about to get married. And that's why she's on the injection because she wants to mm -hmm. slim out. And she's like, I'm in so much pain. I hurt all day, every day. 
And, and I told her, I said, why are you putting your body through that? Like, why, why are you living with pain on a daily basis when you don't have to? Like, especially somebody so young, they don't mm -hmm. have the hormonal issues like that I do. You know, it's like, why you can lose and slim out like you want to before your wedding in a natural way. You don't have to live your life in pain just mm -hmm. because you're trying to slim out. And this person was thin. So what, what do you think that she's losing? She's losing muscle. Of course, mm -hmm. that's going to be painful. Like your body is literally eating itself because she wasn't eating. She's like, I'm not eating all day long. I feel nauseous. I'm in pain. I'm like, your body is, is eating itself up. And I told her, you, you do whatever you want to do, but you need to stop it because this is, this is going to be a clinical issue for you later on. You're too young for all this. You don't need to do that. Right. It's, it's, it's really, it's really, really sad. I mean, we can go on and on story after story, um, failures, meaning that they were on the injection, but they didn't lose anything. Uh, people, you know, walking around with the side effects, you know, nauseous all day long in pain, uh, people losing so much muscle mass, people getting diagnosed with different cl clinical issues. And, of course, now the new one uh, that is, is being talked about, your gut health. So your gut is your second brain of your body, which means like everything starts and finishes in the gut. Okay. Your gut health is important for everything in your life, period. And the story, gut health is extremely important. So with these injections, what are you messing with? You're messing with your gut. And so what happens is now there's people are malnourished. Like people are just not healthy. People's microbiome and gut flora is all out of whack and messed up because of the lifestyle now. People going through, of course, you know, constipation issues, gut issues, um, you don't want to mess with your gut guys you don't want to mess with that there's so many reasons why that we can go in, into it in a different video but so many reasons why i mean people are walking around with more inflammation in their body because of this you know and so um it's very concerning for society the good news is that it's a trend so trends come and go you know um also that there's people like you and I, Coach Amanda, that we're here on a daily basis, that we don't judge people that are in the in injections if they come to our office, but we're here to help them because I much rather have somebody come to our office that they are on our injections and that we can help them eat than them being out there and not having the guidance that they need and the support that they need, you know? I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. So anything else you want to add, Coach? I just want to add that basically there is a better way to lose weight. There's a better way to be healthy. And you always put yourself here because the goal is that if you want to get to where you want to be, you have to put yourself number one and do it the right way. And then it becomes your lifestyle. It's not just a trend. Yeah, absolutely. And it, the name of the game is to do it in a way that's sustainable. Mm -hmm. And so sustainable and that protects your muscle mass. Yeah. Because if your muscle goes down, when you're off of these injections, your BMR, your metabolism takes tanks. Mm -hmm. Muscle is king. And so if you're going to get on these injections, you better stay on them for life. Because if not, you're going to rebound and then you're going to, with that, that new muscle mass, then your body's not going to be burning as fast as it used to be. So you're going to have more problems and issues um, losing fat mass because of that. So the name of the game, guys, is lose it, lose the fat, not the muscle, lose, lose it sustainably learn how to eat at the end of the day there's no way around that you gotta you gotta know how to eat you gotta know how to feed your body give your body the nutrients that it needs if not then you may have an issue later on 
And so that's what we're here for. That's what we do at Inspire Weight Loss. So I, I'm looking forward to more conversations with you, Coach Amanda. Definitely. <laughs> we are going to continue sharing the stories, sharing education about this. Um, and we're going to spread the word that there's there's an option out there that you don't have to live your life in pain or putting your body at risk. At the end of the day, weight loss is supposed to cause you to gain health, not lose it. And that's the way that you should be going about it. All right? All right, guys. Until next time.